day, Dave. I think we got them outnumbered with the matches that we've got on Boy, here. You're Dynamite right. We've got show. a bunch of matches today. Lawler and the Giant Hillbilly will be in here as the tag team. Bam Bam Bigelow is due in, too. Also, we'll look at uh, Akio Sato and Tarzan Goto going against the Beach Boys. Should be a terrific match there. The Nightmares will be in here a little bit later on. Danny Davis and Ken Wayne. Big Joe LaDuke uh, will be in a chain match today. First ever chain match that I, I can remember on uh, Championship modern Wrestling. In modern history, history right. And later on, we'll have the original Bruise uh, Brothers in oh, here. A ladies match. It'll be a non-title match, but uh, the NWA ladies champion Debbie Combs will be here in a match right. today. And then an eight-man match. Mod Squad and Fire and Flame on one side of the ring, and uh, their opponents on the other. Should be a ring full of action there. In addition to that, I've got some tape I think the folks are going to enjoy. If we're going to get it in, better get better started. Go. Back in just a moment. King has his crown, of course, with him. Referee takes the belt. He'll hand him outside the ring for safekeeping. And the crown, yeah, across the way over here. Rough and ready, the opponents with Boss Winters, their manager. Uh, the boss says, hey, you know, that crown fit real nice on my head over here. Bell time and off the run of Lawler. Snap Mayer right over the shoulder. Pounds him with a fist. Coming off the rope, he gets him with an even bigger fist. And tag the giant hillbilly. Hillbilly, whoa, sits down with that upper leg. This may wrap it up right here. He covers, got his one, two, three, what? 22 seconds of action. How much time? 22 seconds. 22 seconds, put it down. That wasn't even a tag match, boy. I'll tell you, Ruff never got out of the ring. That's right. Bing, bing, that's all there was to it. Lawler nailed him, snapped him over the shoulder. Unbelievable. Watch the giant hillbilly as uh, he comes flying off of there and pops down on him. And you call it right when you said that might be the end of it. It was, in fact, the end of it in 22 seconds. Unbelievable time as the new AWA Southern... Okay, Bam Bam Bigelow, uh, he, he says, 22 seconds, that ain't nothing. Bring my opponents out. I don't want to be his opponent. I'll no, you. I don't either. Right, we'll reset to watch and let's out. see with Bam Bam Bigelow. Here comes uh, Mike Murphy, uh, scheduled to be going against uh, Mike Murphy here. All right, referee says ring the bell. Here we go. Bam Bam Bigelow, upper arm across the back of Mike Murphy, picks him up, slams him down to the mat, goes to the rope, drops down and it covers. One, two, and three. Son of a gun, if he didn't do it, he beat it, didn't he? He did it in 13 seconds. Oh. Well, we knew that Bigelow was going to win it. He goes to the top row. Oh, a huge splash down on Mike Murphy. Bam. Bam Bigelow in 13 seconds. He destroyed him in 13. What is this? This is from the Monster Factory of Pretty Boy Larry Sharp. Uh, can you do a little soft shoe there while I get this over there? Coming in, Jameson and Smothers and Haskins. Help Murphy out of there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Larry Sharp saying, gentlemen, I'm sorry that I couldn't be here. I've sent along a couple of tapes. If you have time, uh, would you please show them? Well, we had figured on that, yeah. Larry, so <laughs> certainly we will do that. And one of them I think you're going to be interested in is, is actually a match that Bigelow had, and it's kind of the first confrontation that Bigelow had with Jerry the King Lawler. Take a look at this. <laughs> The 
action has already started. Handicap match, Bam Bam Bigelow, 390 pounds out of New Jersey with his manager, Larry Sharp. Look at this. David Haskins in the air. Haskins thrown out onto the floor. We're amazingly agile. Dropping with a big elbow. It's a one fall. no question about it that Bigelow in the first confrontation there got Jerry's attention as he uh, popped him down without a, without too much trouble. He nailed him. Lawler hit him a pretty good he lick. Sure but Bigelow is a big rugged son of a gun as you can see and believe me that tattoo on his head tells you that he's got he's got something going. Let's take a listen now to the other tape that Larry Sharp sent down. This is an interview that Larry had to say. Here I am, the chairman of the board, the owner of the company. And because of that, I don't have time to be there for this one. But you know, Jerry Lawler, if I could buy a plane in order to get there by the time I'd like to be there to see Bam Bam Bigelow do to you exactly what he's been told to from me, the brains, the head honcho. Let me tell you something. Lawler, your days are numbered. I've still got my appeals in. We're changing the top rope rule. My attorneys told me, it's in the bag. You're costing me a lot of work and a lot of money because I owe Dennis a favor. Well, let me tell you something. Whether I'm there or not, or whether Bigelow wrestles you, Landell, or any other redneck geek from your part of the territory, it's all over. It's all over. Well, there he was, Larry Sharp with Bam Bam Bigelow doing those squats all the way along. Uh, no doubt, he is an impressive physical specimen yeah. to say the very least. And when you got somebody like uh, Sharp behind him who has the monster factory mm -hmm. as his stationary attest to, uh, you got to worry about it. We'll take time out. More action coming up in a moment. Wednesday night, Evansville Coliseum, son of a gun. I'm looking at nine outstanding matches all coming to Evansville on Wednesday night. I mean, including an international tag match, ladies world title match, a chain match, southern tag, no time, no disqualification, a bull whip match. As a matter of fact, J.D. Costello is going to have his boys in operation. And Fire and Flame have the chore of going against Idol and Buddy Landell. It's not much of a chore. It's a pleasure with us. Let me tell you what, Buddy Landell and Austin Idol, the universal heartthrob and the nature boy. It's all right to get up every morning and bleach your hair blonde, but I tell you what, pretty boys don't always win wrestling That's matches right. like Fire and Flame do. You've yet to defeat them. Bring anything to the ring that you've got to bring. It doesn't matter. Bring anything, because when you're messing with Fire and Flame, you're going to get burned. And let me tell you one thing, to Jerry the King Lawler and to Uncle <laughs> Smelmer, as they call him down on the farm, listen here. Here. You took our belts from us. You didn't win our belts. And you better be watching your back because there's no telling when the Mod Squad's going to be there. Mm, well, I'm sure that they will keep that in mind. Talking about the final bout, we mean a bullwhip match. There it is. Looks 
very familiar, yes, like Dutch is, Mantel. Dutch Mantel. Yeah. I no it ring off. rope That's around right. the ring. And you know why, Lance Russell? So I can draw this whip back and throw it at him, and he can't do nothing except stand there and take it if he's man enough, because that's what it's all about, Mantel. It ain't over till you chicken out and can't take it no more and jump off and run to the back. That's how you win. And he went there, he said, he beat me up, and he took my bull whip. He said, well, go take it back. He said, I can't, he won't give it to me. He said, but I got another one with us, a bull whip match, and that's exactly what we're going to do, boy. We're going to take the rope there, just like Mr. Russell said, and I use that word loosely. And I'm going to whoop the tar off you, boy. I'm going to whip all the hair off you. Then I'm going to whip all the skin off you. And when you're down there begging, say, please, Bill, don't hit me no more. I ain't going to stop, boy, because I don't like you. Come on, Mantel, come on, get it, boy. Come on. Round, round, get around, I get around, yeah, get Now let music go, I'll tell you that. Not far behind will be John Stewart and Van Van Horn, the very popular Beach Boys who come in here. And let me tell you, they got maybe the toughest match uh, lined up today that they have ever had going. They'll be going against the international champs, Dave. They certainly will, Akio Sato and Tarzan Goto. And here they come right now. Akio Sato. Listen, Sato Goto, we're international champions. We come here from far away to meet the best team out of here. Look at it. We got just two boys. We want a man. We want to race the best team out of Mid-South. Well, I tell you what, you may have the experience, certainly in the credentials over this team of the Beach Boys, but they are very active, very aggressive young team. It'll be an interesting match to see. Obviously, the international champs are the favorite, but it'll be a good one to see, and here we go, bell time. Yeah, Sato and Goto not happy with the level of competition. They may be surprised here. Ooh, John Stewart really took quite a shot and his hammer down to the mat. Sato makes the tag on Goto. John Stewart back in their corner. Victim of a bit of a double team there by the Japanese team. They're out of Tokyo, international champions. The Beach Boys, John Stewart and Van Van Horn. They wrestle out of California. Here's Van Horn in after the tag. Well, that Goto really uses that headbutt. Today. Boy, he does. You notice that? Ooh, there's, a, there's a boot placed by Akio Sato. He comes in to go to work on Van Van Horn. Van Horn reaches for the tag, and he got it. John Stewart will be coming back in for the Beach Boys team. Both of them in there. Sends Sato over the ropes. They throw the first kick him, pop him down to the mat. Stewart picks him up. He's got him up in the air with a slam. Stewart off the ropes, drops down with the arm. He didn't catch him real good with that elbow because Sato was moving out of the way. Akio comes in, stands him up, and nails him with a right hand, and the referee immediately gets on him for using that fist. Watch pulling the hair, the referee says, and Akio Sato, I think, was a little uh, humiliated by being slammed down by the Beach Boys, and he is really taking it out on John Stewart. Goto follows right in behind. Goto puts John Stewart into the rope, stops him coming off of there. Stewart on the mat. As on Goto. Two minutes gone in the match. Non-title match with the international champions, Sato and Goto. Body slam on John Stewart. He's left lying on the mat. Goto springs off the corners, off the uh, turnbuckles. He doesn't go for the three count, though. He's over to the corner, makes the tag on Akio Sato. Stewart grabbing Sato, throws him into the corner, but Sato catches Van Van Horn with an elbow as he went into the corner. Oh, Van Horn really got hit right in the side of the face. Had all the momentum of the whip behind that elbow. Look at this. Sato dropping down with a fist. Referee right there to warn him about it. That is two. At the two count, John Stewart kicks out of it. But each boy is still alive here against the international champion. Here's Tarzan Goto in after the tag. Goto really uses those ropes for extra spring. These guys just keep tremendous pressure on, too. They, well, they certainly do. Yeah. 
Goto really just hammered away. You're right, they're relentless. They don't, uh, they don't take a break when they make a tag. One of them just right in after the other, and they just keep pounding. But look at John Stewart. Boy, Stewart really giving him a battle here today. He dumped uh, Sato on the mat and covers. Count is one at the one count, though. Sato able to kick out of it. Tag on Van Van Horn, but he couldn't get out of there before Sato takes him back with that uh, side suplex and snapped him down. There's a whip, and as he comes out, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Boy, Did Van Horn ran back. right into that. Too. I mean, really. He oh. had his momentum. He was going into the corner after him, and Sato saw him coming, and boom. Down is two on Van Van Horn, but John Stewart in there to break it up at the two count. Everybody in there, it's Van Horn against Sato, John Stewart going against Tarzan Goto. Now, the Japanese team, one of them holding Van Horn up and the other nailing him. That's it. Goto gets the count of two and three and that's it. Four minutes, 23 seconds the time on it. The win goes to the international tag champion. Sato and Goto come through with a victory over the Beach Boys. Uh, Stewart, who was in there primarily, uh, and Van Horn both made a good aggressive effort at it, but Sato and Goto just absolutely too much. You know, whatever, I just hope it's clean. Let's take time out, Dave. We'll be back. Man, we got a bunch to go yet. We'll be back in just a moment. Hopkinsville, Kentucky, Convention Center, Western Kentucky State Fairgrounds. Tickets are on sale the day of the match, my friend. That's Friday the 18th in Hopkinsville. Thursday, July the 24th, Owensboro, Kentucky at the Sports Center. And by golly, Wednesday night, which is a whole lot closer, you're going to have a chance to see nine championship wrestling matches right at the Evansville Convention Center. You're talking about Hunter going against uh, David Haskins. The Mod Squad will be facing the Bruise Brothers. It'll be an international tag defense with Jeff Jarrett and Yamamoto challenging Sato and Goto. Ladies world title, Debbie Combs defends against Despina Montagas. Bam Bam Bigelow going with Larry Sharp against Tracy Smothers and Tanaka. And a change match with uh, LaDuke and Paul Diamond. Southern tag title bout. Lawler and the Hillbilly against the Nightmares. Idol and Landell against Fire and Flame. And a bullwhip match with Mantell and Dundee. All of that Wednesday night. Wait a minute. All right, coming by first, what looks like Danny and Ken, the nightmares. Wait a minute, before we get in the ring, we got a few things to say. You know, we got a match coming up with Jerry Lawler and the Hillbilly. Well, you know, it's going to be the shortest reign in history for Southern Tag Team Champions because we're going to take them from them. One, two, three, baby. You can bet on it. That's a promise. That's what it's all about, my friends, and you'll sure get your opportunity whenever that comes up. All right, Dave, let's go for the introduction. All right, this is going to be a one fall match 10 minutes will be the time limit and across the way from the nightmares it's the hawaiian pat tanaka team with memphis and david haskins they will be going against the nightmares danny davis and ken wayne jerry calhoun the referee said let's get it going here david haskins starting against danny davis well, the nightmares hair still fascinating to me it's uh Nothing new now. They've been doing it ever since they've been back in the territory here. But uh, rainbow colors. Yeah, and it changes. Yeah, it changes. different. Yeah, different order. Uh, the the colors that and they the have. The stars up. are right. different colors. Different color. Yeah. yeah. David Haskins uh, in the ring with Danny Davis. David has the size, but as we have said so many times, the Nightmares maybe pound for pound the roughest team that you'll find in tag wrestling. They are good. Danny Davis using the bottom rope, hooks his feet over there. That, uh, that's automatic break. Smart move. Wrestling fans don't like it, but uh, if you're in trouble, you do what you can to uh, to get out of trouble. Right, once again, center of the ring, Haskins on a standing side headlock. Danny trying to shake loose, and he gets away, goes underneath. 
Haskins with a leap ball. Takes him over and down. Very nice. Danny's timing was off there. He was expecting Haskins to be somewhere he was not. And well, knee to the midsection there by Danny Davis. Ken Wayne comes in. David Haskins ready for him. Dropped him to the mat immediately. Over to the corner makes a tag on Pat Tanaka. The Hawaiian, schooled in the martial arts, came in with a sidekick. What a dandy this young fella is out of Hawaii. Oh, look at Ken Wayne rattling Tanaka. Whips him across the ring. Spears him in the midsection and right back with that right hand. Tanaka holds on to keep the whip from working. Tanaka held on and reversed it. Now Ken Wayne's going to try the same tactics there. Whoa, reversal by Tanaka. Ken Wayne's up for the mat. Shoulders down. One, two. Tika is all he can get out of it. Tanaka almost had the upset against the Nightmare. Wow. Tanaka, huh? Tag on David Haskins. Ken Wayne fired into the rope. He holds on. Haskins went for the drop kick and missed everything. Tag made by Ken Wayne. When you make a mistake like that against the Nightmares, look out. That's when they turn out the lights. Sometimes. You know, part of the thing that they use, Dave, and this is no bad suggestion for anybody to make up for their lack of the giant size, is their head. Uh, they're a smart team. We don't approve of everything they do, but brother, I'll tell you, you got to give the devil his due. And the Nightmares, indeed, a very, very sharp team, both physically and mentally. Down goes Haskins with the drive from Ken Wayne. Danny Davis back in after the tag. Haskins trying to come back here using the right fist. David picking him up. Look at this. This is that. It, it's almost like the pile driver. Yeah. Not quite, but almost. He drops him down. Look out. Ken Wayne up on the rope. Referee's back is turned. Wayne comes off the top rope right down on the top of Haskins. Referee sees it now and starts to count at two and three, and it's over. Four minutes, three seconds. The Nightmares. Ken Wayne, Danny Davis get themselves the victory. Uh, the referee was over trying to uh, get Tanaka back out of there, and bam, look at that, all the way. He was more than halfway across the ring when uh, when he came pounding down there. Wow, that was something else. Okay, the winner is the nightmare. Coming out right now, Mr. Paul Diamond. Paul, how you doing? Good, Lance. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Joel Duke, the big man he is, I guess he's got a match, a chain match with yeah, Jim Jameson. He challenged Jim Jameson, right. You know, I don't want to take away anything from Jim Jameson, but he's not the most experienced guy, especially in this kind of match. As I can remember, Joel Duke, I stood here last week for two minutes calling your name, waiting for you to right. show your ugly face in the ring. You never did. Let me tell you something, Joel Duke. When you tie that chain on me and we get in that rig, I'm going to do anything it takes, Joel Duke. Just like you taught me, anything at all to beat your brains out. I don't think there's any question, Paul, that you've gotten his attention. He wasn't real sure that you were a man, but by golly, I think he knows that now. Well, I don't think he's such a man either, you know, taking on Jim Jansen. And every time since the start of this thing, he jumped me from behind. I win the match, he jumps me from behind. He tries to choke me. No way, Joel Duke. It's not going to happen again. Tie those chains on there, brother, like two dogs. We'll get it done this time. Okay, Paul, good luck to you. And right now, it's time for us to go to the ring. The challenge match that uh, Paul was talking about about to take place. Jim Jamison already in the ring. Coming in right now, Joe LaDuke. He has a chain around his neck. Chain match. You know something, Lance Russell? Paul Diamond, you come here and you talk a lot. I choose Jim Jamison in the chain match today because the man is a man, he's got experience, and he does have a chance to beat me. <laughs> yeah. 
Did you hear that laugh? I don't I like the sound laugh. of that. No. Mm. Now Joe Klein's in the ring with the chain. He's already got it. It's already uh, tied to his left wrist, and now the referee is going to tie it to Jim Jamison's left wrist. They're tied together. The chain is about uh, is about what eight feet? Yeah, it looks like it is, Dave. It looks like it's about eight feet long. So that's as far away as they can get from each other. Jim Jamison. Boy, Jamison has had some battles here on Championship Wrestling, but none loom more ominous than this one, I don't think. I don't think that Jim is too happy about this particular one, but he's in there, dead game and ready to go with Joe. Look at that. I, I don't like that sinister look on the Duke's face as he snaps that chain around. He's, he's trying to get him in a corner and does. Puts a foot to the midsection, slams him with that chain around his fist. LeDuc, he's got Jamison trapped in a corner, and you can tell he's got bad thoughts going through that head of his. Ooh. LeDuc choking with a chain and using it to hit uh, Jamison with. He wrapped it around his fist, pounded him across the forehead with it. Now he's just simply choking him back in the corner. Referee, oh, he's got him cut, it looked like. Yeah, he does. He's got him cut open and hitting him with that chain. The Duke getting that great ball. Oh, man, oh, man. Jamison, blood pouring out of him, and now the Duke tagging him with that chain, wraps it around his throat. Not a pretty sight. Ah, he's pulling it across his mouth. The Duke. What an animal. Crowd gallery, we want Paul. And I'll tell you one thing, Jim Jamison could use Paul or anybody, anybody else yeah. that would come get LeDuc off of him. Oh, yeah. This LeDuc. Referee trying to pull him off and just barely able to get him back. As Jamison choked, bleeding, just profusely bleeding. Nails oh. him with a chop. Good. Boy, nice. he lifted him off his feet. Jamison. Really in serious trouble here. Drop kick by LaDuke. Maybe he'll cover him and get this over with. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Kind of cool. Minute 54 seconds is your time on it. Referee now untying the uh, chain from the wrist of Jim Jamison. LaDuke has already shed the chain from Duke. his arm. You don't need that. He's already got him bleeding, busted up with a chain. Drop kicking down. He's done it. the chain, puts it around the Duke's neck. A little more even in there now. Now the Duke gets out of the ring. All Diamond with the chain, says, all right. Now come on back in here. You want somebody with a chain? All right, here it is. I got one, come and get me. The Duke. He is not inclined yeah. to want to tangle one-on-one -on -one straight ahead with Paul Diamond, man. He turned and oh, walked out of here. Winner, uh, Joe LaDuke, as he slaughtered Jim Jamison. And Paul Diamond came in the nick of time as Jamison rolling him over, and, and now comes John Stewart and uh, Mike Murphy out to uh, help him back to the dressing room. We'll take time out. We've got more big action coming up in just a moment. Mad Dog. 
It has been a while. Yes, indeed. They're stepping up there right now. They're going to be facing Keith Eric and uh, Keith Robertson in uh, the match today. The Bruise Brothers stepping up to the ropes. Boy, they look like they are ready to go. Out of the ring go Robertson and Eric. The, uh, the two Keiths standing up there is Bru the uh, Bruise Brothers, the original. Pork Chop Cash and Mad Dog. Mad Dog steps out now. Pork Chop going to be starting for his team. Keith Robertson through the ropes will be starting for his. Robertson, the bigger of the two over in their corner. I know that there probably has got to be others, but I was just thinking the answer to a trivia question uh, would be the Bruise Brothers. What wrestling tag team wrestles in street slacks? I don't know of any other team at all, man, that uh, does. That's true. Uh, I can't think of any either. I can think of... Uh, yeah, okay. Maybe maybe another team, but uh, oh. certainly like Russell and Blue Jeans. Long Riders, yeah, that's Blue Jeans. That's not slight. These are dress These are, slides. Yeah, street Gracious slides. Gracious goodness. Bruce Brothers, Pork Chop Cash in there with Mad Dog right now. Mad Dog comes in after the tag. They've got Keith Eric. They fire him across the rope. Look clothesline, but Mad Dog, pretty good one, too. Drops Keith Eric to the mat. He picks him up in the air and slams him. Came rolling in here, I'll tell you what. They were both boogieing and carrying on. The Bruise Brothers back with it. Keith Eric whipped in. Good move. Yeah, pork chop dumps him with the back. Yeah. Pork chop cow. Let him have it. Uh, it was the upper arm. Technically, that was legal. It, it looked illegal. <laughs> yeah, it sure did the way he did it, but it was, as a matter of fact, a forearm smash, and he caught him good with it. And Chops has got a pair of guns on him, boy. He can nail you with those arms. He's something. Keith Eric moves in, ties it up. He did it again. A good one. Using the forearm and the upper arm. And Eric was stunned as he got to the corner. Whoa. Pork chop hammered Keith Robertson. Keith Eric steps over, and Pork chop is right there to shove him back on the mat. He's laying there. Look out. Mad Dog drops down on him. Well, that will slow him down, let me tell you. Eric hammered down to the mat again by Mad Dog. Mad Dog with a big splash. One, two, and three. The original Bruce Brothers. Mad Dog and Pork Chop Cash have the hands raised in a victory in two minutes, 34 seconds. So in a return to championship wrestling, the Bruce Brothers are successful and they are the winners. Here he comes. Now watch it. That's it. All right. He drops down right there. Boom. One, two, three. That's it. He didn't like the first play, so he got him in position and got him again. Yeah, right Bruce Brothers is the winner. Mm. Let's hear about Championship Wrestling Association on tour, my friend. Here's word. It's the CWA Championship Wrestling Association on tour. The excitement is coming your way with all-star action and all-star cards. Thursday, July 24th at Owensboro, Kentucky at the Sports Center. Also Thursday, July 24th in Grenada, Mississippi at the High School. Friday, July the 18th, the action hits Hopkinsville, Kentucky at the Civic Center. Thursday, July the 17th in Boonville, Mississippi at Northeast Junior College. Tuesday, July 15th, a spectacular in Adamsville, Tennessee. Friday, July the 11th in Huntsville, Alabama. It's unbelievable in the Madison County Coliseum when it cranks up with Jerry the King Lawler, Austin Idol, Bam Bam Bigelow, and the Giant Hillbilly. Thursday, July the 10th in Lexington, Kentucky, Austin Idol returns to burn at the Rep Arena with special summer prices in effect. This coming Wednesday, the action gets hot in Evansville, Indiana at the Coliseum. This coming Tuesday, July the 1st in Louisville, Kentucky, you don't want to miss that one. All this action, all these stars brought to you by the CWA Champion.
Championship Wrestling Association. Okay, climbing into the ring right now, Despina Montagas, who will be going against the NWA World's Ladies Champion, Debbie Combs. Uh, this is a non-title bout. And referee Jerry Calhoun right behind. David? All right, this match will be one fall, 30-minute uh, time limit. I beg your pardon. Uh, overall time limit, 15 minutes it should be. It is a non-title match. Non-title match. Debbie Combs going against Despina Montagas and referee Jerry Calhoun up there. About set to get him going. Debbie Combs, the holder of the ladies' NWA championship belt. She's handing it to the referee who passes it out of the ring for safekeeping. Now, again, this, this is not a title match today. Despina wrestles out of Tampa, Florida. Debbie out of Nashville, Tennessee. Off come the jackets. Despina comes in at about 158 pounds. And we are about ready for the action to begin. Here we go. All right, Despina Montagas, the Greek goddess of power, she calls herself. Going against the ladies' champion right now, Debbie Combs flipped back into the ring by Despina Montagas. Despina with the headlock from the side. Puts her down to the mat. crowd said uh, Despina was pulling hair. We couldn't see from our angle, neither could the referee, but uh, probably true. Yeah, it looked like, looked like that's exactly what was happening there. It was passing for a side mare, but uh, she had a handful of hair, I think. We've seen Despina once before. She is a rugged competitor. I think you get that idea already if this is the first time that you have seen her. But the young lady that she's going against is no slouch either. We remember back when the U.S. ladies title held for a long time by Debbie's mother, Cora Combs. Miss Cora Combs, yes indeed. Long time champion. All right. Good headlock. Reversal by Debbie Combs and Despina Montagas uses the bottom rope. Puts that left boot over the rope. Referee wants a break and gets it. Debbie, I think, getting a little irritated with the uh, tactics of Despina Montagas. Uh oh. Despina into the side headlock again. It worked before, so try it again. The hair pulling worked before, too. She was going to try that, it looked like. Now she fires Debbie into the rope. Those lines are coming off. Let's cover. One. Out of one is all there is this time, though. The Greek goddess of power out of Tampa, Florida, Despina Montagas, right now in the driver's seat, but a nice reversal from Debbie. Backdrop, and Montagas down hard. Montagas hitting them out on her back. Debbie Combs with a good right hand drove her back into the ropes. over right into the referee. Night, really. Jerry Calhoun is down. There's a cover by Debbie Cole. Debbie covers it. What is that? that is Joe Joe LaDuke. LaDuke. Grabs a hold of Debbie. What are you doing in a ring, LaDuke? That crazy son of a gun. He's got no business even being anywhere near it. Nails Debbie down. Puts Montagas over the top of her. And there goes LaDuke. Interfering in a match, he had no earthly business of being around, and the referee counts one, two, three. So, uh, have Paul Diamond in here now to explain to the referee what happened. Joe LaDuke comes in. He's got no business in this match whatsoever. And now LaDuke has called Montagas uh, out of there. She, she said, come on out. She has left. Debbie Combs struggling now to get back to her feet and Paul Diamond trying to explain to Jerry Calhoun exactly what happened. Calhoun was knocked down and silly as Despina was leapfrogging over Debbie and nailed right into the referee. They went down. Here comes LaDuke, jumps in. 
he uh, slammed uh, Debbie and then put Despino on top. And the winner, I assume, with no correction on it, is going to be Despino Montagas. Despino Montagas, yeah. Thank goodness for the sake of fair play that that was not a title match. Ooh. But uh, victory is going to look good on the uh, on the books there for Montagas over the champion. You betcha. Time out. We'll be back in just a moment. Oh, yeah, Wednesday night. I'm talking about the Evansville Coliseum with nine outstanding matches, and you're going to see a bunch of different kind of bouts. One of them is going to be an AWA Southern Tag Championship match when the King and the Giant Hillbilly put those belts on the line against the Nightmares. That's right, Lance. Big, big night in Evansville, Indiana. Nine matches, and you're looking at one of them right here is going to be for these Southern Tag Team belts. I understand J.D. Costello is a little bit upset okay. because he no longer manages the Southern Tag Team champions. Well, that's tough, brother. We got the belts, and we plan to keep them for a long, long time. Now, I'm not taking anything away from the Nightmares. I understand they're a tough team, but I don't think they're big enough, and I don't think they're tough enough to take these belts away from the King and this giant hillbilly right here. Oh, Just come on down and try, boys. That's all you gotta do. They'll be there Wednesday night, and so will we. By golly, I'll and say. I'm gonna be there Wednesday night, too. Dundee, don't think for one minute that I only got one bull whip to my name, because I got several, baby, and a lot of them not quite as good as you, baby, but almost, because that comes the skill of the user, baby, and that's me. Now, Dundee, you got something I want, and that's shoe baby and i'm going to get it back and i'm going to bring another little shoe baby number two with me and we're going to take all the ring ropes down and you're going to stand on one side of that ring and i'm going to stand on the other and we're going to start throwing back and forth and back and forth and whoever can stand the heat can stay in the ring and if you can't you got to get out of the kitchen and the one that wins is the one that knocks the other off the ring apron. And Dundee, I'm going to knock you off that ring apron, and I'm going to get my shoe baby back. I'll see you Wednesday. Mm, no ring ropes in that one. And then we're talking about no time, no disqualification. Landell and Idol against Costello's fire. Well, the flip. first thing I'm going to do is buy a ticket and watch Dutch strap that Dundee like a prisoner of war, baby. And second of all, J.D. Costello, don't think for one minute that the nature boy Buddy Landell has forgotten what you did to him, all right? But I have one, one thing on my side, baby. That's the idol, baby. Austin Idol, the international heartthrob, daddy, and the nature boy getting down to throw down in Evansville, Indiana, daddy. We're coming to get you. Looking forward Wednesday night. You make it a point to be there. We're ready to go with eight-man tag team action here. It's fired flame in the mod squad on one side. On the other, Jerry Garman, Benny Trader, David Haskins, and Tracy Smothers in the ring right now. Oh, Tracy kicked one of the mod squad in the back of the head. That was... Uh, Thanks, Russell. J.D. Costello, and here I am. We have a number of lethal moves that we're going to unleash on these opponents today. I want you to watch. Take notes and watch. Well, there's no question. Impressive physically uh, is the team of the Mod Squad and Fire and Flame. They are large gentlemen with, I might say, some questionable ethics when it comes to wrestling. Who, who are these guys we're wrestling today? Garmin, Trailer, Mr. Liberty. Who, who are they? Trailer? Who are they? It's okay. Tracy Smothers, David Haskins, Jerry Garman, Benny Trailer. You know, when they were born, something terrible happened, Lance Russell. They live. <laughs> Great, J.D. Boy, boy. Fighting, fighting my dynasty is like fighting the IRS. You just can't win. Well, I'll certainly agree with part of that. My master plan to rule professional wrestling, and it's working. Look at this. <laughs> That's fire in there right now. We just have a deep, a deep hatred for losing, Lance. Well, Mod Squad and Fire and Flame certainly keeping it on top right at the moment. Ooh, man, he speared him with a shoulder, and I mean laid him hard down on that mat. The trailer just made the tag on Jerry Garman. Things are going to get sizzling red hot, if you know what I mean, Lance. <laughs> Garman takes a shot from flame as fire comes in and rips him to the midsection. Uh, knee lift. Puts it down to the mat. Jerry Garman in trouble. Tag made. One of the mod squad coming in. That's Bruiser. Uh, our bruiser, Basher. Get it right, Dave. Now, come on. You're getting paid to sit out here and do this. Do it right. I think you had it right. Yeah, yeah. A little easier if we didn't have the distraction over on the other end of the table. Oh, oh look out. Hold on in there. We got a free for all. Oh, no. Third degree board alert. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 
J.D., get out of here. We're not interested in any of that. Boy, that is really funny. There's the three count as Jerry Garman is pinned after being burned by fire and flame. Boy, they threw that flame right on his chest. He's holding on, but he's hurt as they burn him. Kicked out of the ring. We got to take time out. We'll be back in just a moment. The second fall of action and here we go we've got an eight man that has fire and flame and the mod squad going against david haskins tracy smothers and i've just noticed it's a seven man now jerry garman burned yeah. by fire and flame right. in the first fall and he's not back out here they've injured him to the point he can't continue so it's benny trailer and fire is laying out on supposed to be laying out on this side of the ring hey lance and dave you know what you do when you mess with fire and flame you're bound to get burned that's what happens yeah great observation jd let me tell you we're a little irritated at that team of yours too in the air haskins as spike slams him down and drops with a big elbow spike tags basher basher picks david haskins up in the air and just Runs around the ring with him before he finally drives him down to the mat with a power slam. Boy, and Haskins is no flyweight either. No, he's 235. Uh, he, he's got good size on him. Basher makes the tag. On fire. Haskins thrown into the rope. Fire. Uh. The right hand to the midsections. He came by there. Trying to get the tag. Did he get it on Tracy no, Smothers? No, no he was missed. just a little short of it, Dave. We may have some more pre-Fourth of July fireworks in the ring before it's over with Lance Russell. You'd just, that'd just brighten up your day, wouldn't it? They'd light up your eyes, wouldn't it? Let me tell you something, J.D. A lot of folks are going to get sick and tired of that, and they may find some interesting ways to get back at J.D. Costello and the dynasty. And you're one of them, aren't you, Lance Russell? Uh, I'll leave, my, I'll leave my, my part of it to be handled by somebody else. Oh, there are some people here, because when they get mad, they can handle the situation. You're talking about what, Jerry Lawler, Uncle Elmer, whatever he goes by now. You're, you're talking about all those geeks in the other dressing room. Is that who you're talking about? Those wimps? Those wimps? <laughs> Look at Fire and Flame and Spike and Basher. You've got over 100 pounds of muscle still right there. And I'm the brains of the machine right here. And look at Flame in you there. Expect? He's supposed to be the man out. Fire and Flame are just swapping at will yeah. over here in the corner. It's like, you know, it's, you know, it's ridiculous. They couldn't play it straight if they had to. They're sitting out here because of the burn in the first ball. They're supposed to have had one of their men out where it was going to be three on three but no no they got to be swapping in and out as fire and flame keep exchanging look at spike in the ring right now with tracy smothers you know you don't get any more brutal than spike you know former new orleans police cops fired for police brutality lance russell you just don't get any meter than that it's it's bred into their blood you know what i'm saying yeah i know what you're saying jd we've got about two and a half minutes of action time left here is smothered Gets thrown right over the top rope and out on the floor. That's not what happened, don't you know? He's probably got uh, wet feet or something. He slipped and fell out. From behind, Flame nails him with that chair. He's going to have a headache in the morning, you know that? Yeah. Well, just keep it up, J.D., just keep it up. The great dynasty may have its reckoning day before too long. That's Russell. My dynasty is the largest. It's the largest organization of its type in the world. It's got more money behind it than you've got in your bank account that you'll make all of your life. So don't talk about my dynasty. Watch perfection in the ring right now as we tear apart three habitual chronic losers. They come, they come down here to the television station week after week after week. They could be in bed sleeping late on Saturday. Instead, of they're down here getting their brains beat out. I don't know why they keep coming down here every week. Well, they don't come down here and ex 
expect to see hooligans that are going to be throwing fire around and hitting people on the head with chairs and that stuff. Now that guy in the ring right there looks like the type of guy who would rob a New Orleans liquor store down on Bourbon Street. Spike and Basher would be summoned to come down there. And of course they would take him out into a sleazy back alley off, off of Bourbon Street and beat him up before they took him down to the jail. Great. I love your sense of fair play, J.D., really. That's Benny Trailer in there. As Spike is working him over in that ring. There's no question about that. Tag on Flame, and he comes in. Boy, I'll tell you, they just get bigger. Spike, the biggest of the Mod Squad, and Flame is even bigger than he is. Yeah. Trailer carried over to the corner. There's a tag on Basher. Trailer in a bear hug right now. He's going to have back pain for about a week out of that. Well, we're running out of time, and that's fortunate for one side of the ring because they have just not had a good day at all. Keep going. The, keep the tape rolling, Lance Russell. We're not finished yet. Uh, you don't know it, but you're closer to being finished. Than There's a problem. 